Blue Bloods Football, back again guys. Welcome to another post-match review. Today is obviously the review of Wolves and Chelsea, as you can tell by my dull tone. Um, it was very, very unimpressive. Um, you know, new manager, new vibes, same Chelsea, except somehow I'm shocked. Um, you know, not because they shocked me in a positive way, um, I was looking to be shocked and surprised and I am surprised that somehow we got worse. Um, normally, there'll be moments of good play at least during periods of the game, but we just wouldn't score. Now we we're just terrible all over and we still couldn't score. So I just find that amazing personally. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into a rant about blaming Lampard. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know if it's a manager thing at this point because what this has just solidified for me was the fact that there was um, multiple, yeah, there is multiple um, issues with this team despite what manager we might have, which is going to be a massive issue for the next manager to fix, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos. Let's get into the match with you guys. So we started with a 4-3-3, it seems. Um, as I predicted, I thought Lampard would change the system essentially. Try to get the players firing off, which I don't blame personally. Um, Kepa and goal, at least he didn't change that. Uh, center backs, Kuli Bali on the left, Fofana on the right, kind of makes sense. I would put Betty Shield in the left position, in my, pos um, my perspective, but it's whatever. On the right side, we had Reese James, left side, Kukurea instead of Chilwell, so that was an interesting one. Um, and the three in the midfield consisted of Enzo Kovacic and Conor Gallagher, which is very interesting. It clearly seems Mons is frozen out of his team, guys, and I don't think he's gonna come back. It's uh, that that's overs. Um, so especially since Lampard's here, a lot of people thought he was gonna start. <laughs> you know who you are with my money. Um, <laughs> certain bets were placed. Uh, so yeah, front three was Kai Havertz a striker, makes sense, we barely have a striker, but what's funny though, because Aubameyang was on the bench, so maybe he wasn't completely fit enough to start or play a full 90, but he did come on later on, but not even for Kai Havertz, which I found strange, but I'll get into that. Um, left side, Joao Felix, right side, Raheem Sterling, makes sense. Our best attack is essentially in the team from what I know. And yeah, so this game was pretty much dull, guys. Like, there were moments of experimentation. Like, you see, they tried to go forward at certain times, but everything was so amateurish and disjointed. And just the lack of professionalism. We just, it looked like amateur hour, basically, when I saw that game. Um, Wolves also, you know, I have to give credit to them. Like, Chelsea was bad, but Wolves was actually quite a decent. Um, they played quite well. I think they would, if they played the way they did against pretty much any team in the Prem, they would have, um, not to say they would have won, but they would have given them, you know, a bit of trouble at least. So they're putting a lot of pressure on us, to be honest. Um, their home support was really massive. It was there. And um, yeah, they got the first goal. <laughs> the volley from the weirdest angle. The fact that this guy even attempted it shows that he has zero respect for Kepa. Um, Kepa is weak against long shots and he must have known that because it makes no sense to take a shot from that angle against anybody um, and somehow got in so congrats to them for that one goal um, I'm not gonna go too deep into the match analysis guys this was very flat like a lot of the stuff was the same throughout we'll just lackluster lackadaisical um, inconsistent just looks so amateurish we looked clueless we couldn't stick anything together or stitch anything together I was expecting to see a lot of like excitement in this game and drive and new manager bounce and you know some skills on the board like I said I was looking forward to like a Mudrik doing a step over a Jao Felix doing his thing but like I said we looked worse like it's just shocking like Chelsea is very inventive when it comes to finding new ways to disappoint the fandom and to give people like material to make memes about it's like that's what they're planning in practice that's what they're doing instead of actually practicing that's what I feel is going on in the background um so <laughs> What is refreshing to see, at least, is the fact that we had an angry manager, at least, let me say it like that. Um, Lampard was clearly frustrated with what was going on and he made substitutions immediately. Like normally in situations where Kai would play terribly the whole game, he would play the full 90 or get subbed out in like the 85th minutes or something when the game's pretty much done. But this time Lampard's like 60 minutes in, gets out, like I'm done with you. Uh, Felix and Sterling were taken off even though they were our best attackers but to be honest they weren't really doing anything during that game 
it just felt like there were massive spaces in between players. No one really wanted to link up with each other. I mean, the only person I was playing somewhat well was Rhys James and Enzo for periods of the game. Sometimes Kovacic would chip in, but front three was dead, non-existent. Um, so it made sense as to why they got subbed off. Rich Pulisic came on. Sterling eventually went off. Aubameyang came on later. So Aubameyang actually looked good in the few moments that he came on. He looked to make like positive runs, break in between the lines, got two chances, but um, yeah, they were defended relatively well. Um, so it's nice to see him back in the team at least. I don't think he's going to be here for long, to be honest. I don't know what's going to happen with this club later on. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, this was just flat, flat, flat all over terrible to watch um i have zero well i had zero hope for madrid now i have less than zero hope um we're in the integers guys so <laughs> we're in the negatives right now um i don't even know if i want to watch that game to be honest but i guess reviews have to be done um because i'm a professional unlike our players so <laughs> some of us like to do our jobs <laughs> at least lampard had a reaction um it's nice to see an angry manager for once instead of a manager who just claps on um, no matter what happens on the pitch and has this Ted Lasso positivity vibe. By the way, I'm starting that series, guys. It's one of the best series. Okay, let me not say ever, but it's so nice to see a series that's good. Like, it's it's actually really funny. I love it. Please watch Ted Lasso. It gave me pots of vibes, um, but I like Ted Lasso more. So one thing I found quite irritating is that after the game, um, you had all these YouTube reviewers and um, pundits basically criticizing Lampard for changing the tactics and the formation and stuff and I think that's nonsense because it's one of those things where people only criticize what someone did wrong after the fact. Um, most people didn't have issues with the lineup when it came out. If Lampard had won, guaranteed it would have been like, yeah, new manager bounds, you know, Chelsea looking positive again, etc, etc. Now that we lost, it's like, ah, oh, Lampard comes in, he shouldn't have changed to a 4-3-3. He shouldn't have not started this play. He shouldn't have started this play. You know what I mean? Um, but only because we lost, it's a massive issue. So it's one of those things. So I didn't have an issue with the lineup when I saw it at first. Obviously, a few things like not uh, better your shield sh should have started. Chilwell should have started, in my opinion. Um, I found a stranger Kukurea started. Everyone was pretty much bad, so it didn't really make that much of a difference to me and yeah also i'm not going to say it was an unlucky loss we were just terrible throughout the whole game um the nature of the goal was that was a freak accident in my opinion very well taken though can't take away credit from was nunes right i think um it says nunes or whatever his name is um very well taken from him and congrats to that so guys i don't know what to say from here or not man look out for madrid they lost their match too by the way i don't know what happened with them but yeah, I have no doubt we're gonna get tranced at the Bernabeu. I don't know what Lampard's plan is. I don't know what his team talk's gonna be. I don't know how he's gonna rally these guys, but there's something very wrong with this team, no matter who the manager is. And that's very apparent. These guys are dead inside. I've never seen a group of, yes, yeah, like these guys on paper are so good apparently, but hey, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm not a coach, I don't understand what's going on. And I might even try to dissect it, it's just, giving me a headache at this point so guys comment like subscribe please look out for extra content um check my description box for other details like my tiktok or whatever not a fan of watching tiktok but i post so yeah blue bloods football until next time